Taliode Champs and today another unboxing and a big hardcore thermal test as well. This is the Asus ROG Strix G Edition. 15 inch laptop, you can get a 17 inch and it comes with all the good stuff. And I did actually unbox this sexy beast here and check this out. This is amazing this one. This is the M15 and it's so small so compact it's such a beautiful laptop magnesium premium everything but this thing is in a bigger box this one i'll show you the box of the m15 they're both 15 inch laptops right this one's a bigger one now it should come with all the bells and whistles that you get with asus laptops now so liquid metal we're talking thunderbolt 3 hopefully and of course the supers 240 hertz high refresh rate displays they know what a gamer wants and they give it to them so let's unbox it and have a look rule is new i unbox it and this is a big box too wow let's have a look so of course we get the laptop we'll just put this aside for a sec your standard literature there with this thing a mystery box what is this okay so it turns out that that is a webcam yes you have to hook on a webcam there's no webcam on it so that's either a thing you like or you don't like but i do like that they include it so that's awesome and then we have the standard 230 watt power brick there of course barrel charger but yeah let's have a look at the laptop oh look at that sexy thing oh yes look at that it says super narrow bezel light up with aura sync so that means it syncs with all your aura stuff so like you know rog stuff mouse keyboard etc and even your pc liquid metal we have wi-fi technology yes they do have good wi-fi that's one thing to note of course it's wi-fi 6 uh, transparent wasd keys 3m.2's wolf that's what i'm talking about 3m.2's wi-fi 6 awesome now i can actually see that it has some strip lighting you can probably see that there so nice embellishments there it's not metal that's plastic because this is at the lower end but it is machine there or well that's the casting of it at least it gives you an impression it's machine metal i do love the rog logo it looks good have a look on the bottom there so with this laptop here you get the premium look of the zephyrus laptops 144 hertz display i believe you can get a 240 hertz as well um, you get the premium look of the Zephyrus line at a much more affordable price. And if I've got to say one thing, uh, this thing to me looks better. It's more compact. It looks more premium. It's premium materials, magnesium. I do like this one. But the thing is, this is going to be great for just hardcore, no-nonsense gaming there. And as you can see there, you can see the keys. They said transparent keys, so I don't know what, that's not transparent to me. It is plastic, but it does have that, you know, Zephyrus look, the high-end look of the Zephyrus. Anyway, let's power it up and give it a thermal test. I do like that it's got the underglow here and a sort of mock sort of glow around there. All right, so even though this is liquid metal, you do not get Thunderbolt 3. On the back there, that's USB Type-C. It's not Thunderbolt 3, and that's where this comes in at the lower price point. That's the cost saving you get over the more higher end models. But yeah, it looks the part. It's going to be great for no-nonsense gaming with liquid metal. I will be very surprised if it doesn't perform very well in that regard. HDMI on the back, Ethernet, USB Type-C. And on the left-hand side, we have audio in, audio out. So that's a combination jack. And then you have three USB Type-A's. So it's not loaded with ports, but it's got everything you need. All right, so <laughs> this thing is an absolute monster. Cinebench, 3,300 nearly. And this is an i7, so the 10750H, six cores. Now, there are some i9s that only do 3300, and that's with eight cores. And it was only a hair over 80 degrees. Cinebench, amazing. So that liquid metal does the job. Now we're going to slam the CPU and GPU at once. This is on battery at the moment. We will plug it in. I will say it looks good. It looks the part. I love the underglow. If you can see there, the iridescent WASD keys, they look pretty cool. So as I said, it has that i7 10750H and it also has RTX 2060. So this is the full version. And you can get a 240Hz display. This is 144Hz. You can actually get a 2070 Super in this if you want to. And you can also get the i7 8 core. So you can get the 10875H. So let's slam this thing, see 
how we go and woof let's see here we are now pushing 90 watts into that gpu that's what we want baby we are at 94 degrees that's what a gpu has been slammed 100 percent and whoa that's over 100 110 watts into that gpu wow went up to 120 watts on that gpu that's some serious power and we're still pushing what 60 watts into the cpu at the moment of course you know it's not going to get the cinebench score that it did when the gpu wasn't being lit up you know that was gp that was cpu only so that was 3250 i expect the haircut of around 300 to 400 as long as it's near that sort of 3000 mark that's perfectly fine for an i7 and we're still pumping what 110 watts into that gpu the cpu's gone down to 50 watts and the temperatures plummeted and it's 80 degrees so have a listen to it honestly not that loud not that loud for like being under full stress full load there and we can see now 80 degrees it's chilling at 50 watts on the cpu and the gpu is pushing 114 watts so up to 120 watts so it does push more than that m15 so the m15 laptop yeah of course it's a bigger package you would expect it to be able to pump more juice into it and if we have a look we should be at the end of the cinebench run soon and we can still see 84 degrees that's perfectly fine that temperature at 50 sort of watts there and the gpu still pumping 115 watts with that being 80 degrees so still a fair while to go there i guess because it didn't stay in its boost state for a very long time because um i already been slamming it so you know that's how it is you want to do it while it's hot anyway and still pumping 50 watts into that cpu and 84 degrees so this is going to be great for gaming you're going to be having you know over 100 watts into the uh, gpu i don't know what's it saying it's saying five watts on the gpu because the gpu is finished now so we should get some more watts in the, to the cpu no we haven't still no yes we are now getting 60 watts and it went down to 66 degrees and a Cinebench score of 1963 that's because it wasn't in the boost state for a very long time and if i'd done it fairly where i you know hit the cpu first let it stay in its boost state and then hit the gpu the gpu was already running when i ran the test so what you can see with this is it's maintaining 50 watts and not overheating while the gpu's been lit up 100 percent and that's what you want in a gaming laptop so this is good performance and it's going to perform better than that m15 in that regard so yeah i like it all checks out here stay tuned for my review i'll catch you in the next one guys tally ho